What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in Valheim, it's definitely the egg. I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know about chickens and eggs, so you can have your own chicken farm to get the best food in the game. If you find it useful, leave a like, check out my live streams where I've been streaming daily, Valheim Mistlands PTB, and let's go. So first off, you're gonna to need to go and defeat Yagaluf. You will not be able to get your own chicken farm going until you've defeated him. That's because it will then unlock the eggs that you buy from the trader. It's pretty expensive, in fact it's the most expensive item you can now buy from Halder and you'll need two of them to breed. I think it's fairly obvious to say you're going to need to build some sort of chicken coop and you've got to be a bit careful about how and what you build. You basically just chuck the eggs on the floor and then as long as they're close to a fire they should hatch within a day or so. But it can't be too exposed, you most likely will need a roof so you can't just chuck it in a big massive area. So do what I'm doing here, create a small little barrier so the chickens, if they do hatch, don't immediately burn to their doom. Now your coop can be quite large, I would say at least three squares or three tiles wide or long, and that's pretty much the length of the eggs needing to be warm. If you place them down, drop them on the floor, you can't drop them in stacks, they won't hatch in stacks, they have to be dropped individually, it will tell you whether or not it's too cold or too warm. It takes a few seconds normally for the warmth to hit it, and like I said, you will need some sort of ceiling. And that is pretty much it, just wait literally like a day and they should start hatching. You won't be able to do anything, pet them, they've still got to grow into proper chickens rather than chickenlets. And yes, you will need to go and feed them some seeds. You can feed them absolutely any seed except ancient. I did try it just for science, but they'll take beech trees, they'll take the fir trees, they'll take pretty much everything going on. Obviously, they can escape and if they do, you might find that you'll end up losing them like I did to this guy. May you wander very far and very free, my little chicken friend. I totally lost him. So make sure you've got some sort of door on your chicken coop. So finally, you've got to use for all them seeds you may have been storing up. You can, like I said, use other actual proper seeds for foods like carrots and onions or turnips, and they should eat all of them as well. On average, they'll probably eat one seed a day, maybe even longer. Now, it may take two days for them to actually hatch into full-blown chickens, and just like other tames, you need to make sure they're protected and safe as other creatures will come from. So you don't want to necessarily just have wooden protection, put a big stone fence around it or something to stop any creatures like the shaman being able to poison through the walls. Eventually they'll turn in like I said to big chickens, then you can go ahead and pet them. And I think as long as there's two of them, they'll start laying eggs within usually two days. Just like all tames, they'll tell you if they're hungry or not happy, so make sure you pay attention to that. And then you just got to be on the lookout for where they lay their eggs. If they lay their eggs close enough to the fire inside your coop, then again, it'll just carry on hatching and you won't have to do much other than chuck some seeds in and leave it for a good while and you can come back to loads of eggs. At the moment, there seems to be a few issues where sometimes they'll lay an egg close to a wall and it might end up being on the outside and thus it won't actually hatch because it's not going to be warm enough. Make sure you create a proper vent as well for the smoke to go up as that can also kill them. And I tried a bunch of other ways to maybe hatch them. Standing torches like this do not work. But braziers do. Whether it's the standing one or the hanging ones, they actually will do the job. Although it doesn't seem to have maybe the same kind of range as just a regular fire. I did find a couple of eggs towards the door that were simply too cold. If you really want to use braziers, then maybe hang up a hanging one inside the coop as well and like i said just make sure there's some sort of ventilation and obviously the chickens can't get too close to it i thought about seeing if i can make them more free range and just build some of these outside and hopefully have these guys just running around but it does get too cold so that's why you do need some sort of roof so of course you'll need the butcher's knife to go ahead and kill them and yes you will get a feather drop as well as a piece of chicken meat from them didn't seem to matter whether or not I was killing any of the chicklets or whether or not they were actually fully grown chickens. Finally, a reliable way to quickly get feathers once you've built it up over time. You'll unlock the brand new chicken recipes that you're going to need to bake and honestly they seem to be the best combination to give you a maximum amount of health and a decent amount of stamina too. You can cook a piece of chicken on a regular spit and it's going to give you 60 health and 20 stamina but more importantly it gives you 5 HP per tick so that's a really good piece of meat. Then obviously combining them to make recipes is going to be the better one. You'll need some honey and some of the new jot and puffs to go ahead and make the uncooked honey glazed chicken ready for the oven. A simple cooked egg is going to be 35 health and 12 stamina. 
with a 20 minute run duration and 2 HP per tick. And you can make a mushroom omelette which requires 1 egg and some jot and puffs again. 28 health, 85 stamina and 3 HP per tick, 25 minute duration. So once it's cooked in the oven, then obviously eating all three of them, the egg, the honey glazed chicken, and obviously the egg omelette is gonna give you a huge amount, especially if you want to swap out also just a cooked egg for a cooked piece of chicken too. A honey glazed chicken is gonna give you 80 health, 26 stamina, 30 minutes, and five HP per tick. A honey glazed chicken now is better than serpent stew in terms of health and in terms of stamina, then obviously yes, some of the other recipes like obviously the mushroom omelette are now better than the blood pudding. So save up them coins and as soon as you're able to go and buy a couple of the eggs and start getting your egg on. I'll be back as always for more guides and I'll probably do a full one for all the food, how to craft it and the best combinations going. Check out the rest of the PTB if it's still live and if there's any changes I'll do a revamp guide for the full update but I can't imagine there'll be too many with this. And yep, I might go and work and see if we can build a chicken battery to get maximum amount of eggs, chickens or feathers. Until next time, latest wrap bags.